yeah, people ask me that, you know, how did you guys deal with the fame in a way? And I think, I think we dealt with it quite well compared to most uh, people I've seen go through that situation. At uh, George especially. He never says no to pictures, like people come to the gym, you know, they wait outside, this and that, and he's training. Sometimes people wait two, three hours, you know, make sure he takes the picture with them. If he's out, you know, in Montreal and you stop him, he's always super nice, he takes care of you, he takes your picture, signs whatever you need to get signed. George is that pioneer of the sport, and George is that champion which has to set that example. George is uh, one of the more responsible guys I've seen in MMA who is you know, taking care of his finances, not gotten into any kind of crazy trouble or anything, and uh, stayed humble throughout the whole, the whole process. I train alongside George and I'm in the same room as him and I'm like, he's the same person as what you see on the telly and uh, or in, on interviews. There was a time where George was, you know, the most popular fighter and, and you, you've seen how he carried himself. And everybody loved him for it. I've never seen anybody deal with fame like he has. He's still the same guy I knew 15 years ago. He never forgot his roots. He never forgot that he comes from Kikushin Budo Karate. He never forgets Firas. He never forgets all of his sparring partners. We've had some evolution of, in TriStar. You know, a, lo a lot has changed over the years, but it's been positive change. You know, uh, George was always good at bringing guys in for his camp and always having a big camp around him to help him prepare, you know? so. Uh, that was always great, having new guys that he would bring in. Yeah, I remember at the time I was younger, I, I had a lot of uh, discussion. People were calling me in the US for moving in the United States to go train. Uh, I had uh, like sometimes, like some people that offer me to go train with them and, uh, and you know, a salary, a, a monthly salary and things like that. But I always refused. I, I refused to go away because I, I always believe in myself. I believe in, in, in what we had here, and I wanted to grow something in here in, in, in Montreal. I wanted, I wanted to make something big in here. It's the talented fighters, the powerful, talented, uh, gifted athletes that are very dedicated, but it's also the knowledge that we got from so many great trainers. And that knowledge, I try, I'm trying to put it all in my head, from John Danahar to Braulio Estima to you know, Freddie Roach to Raymond Daniels, what he teaches us here, is he's one of the greatest strikers in the world. I mean, all that knowledge, I'm trying to put it in, in my brain, you know, so, so I can, the next generation they come in, they don't have to go chase the world. You know, me and George, we traveled a lot to learn. I used to go to New York to everywhere to, to get my, my knowledge. Then I, came, I brought my knowledge here. But now it's funny because it's people all around the world now that are coming to train here and, and try to start to learn new things. So things have changed and I'm very, very proud of it. Can I go with you? When it came to training, George is never late. Hey guys, let's bring it in! Whatever Frost teaches, he sits there and he drills it like everybody else. You know, he doesn't get any real special treatment. And um, I think that taught a lot of us to not complain about training and to do what, what's shown and to you know come on time and don't leave until you learn the move. This place is made to sharpen every virtue you have. I want my students, I want to tell them, be humble. Help that white belt, help that blue belt. All right guys, we're gonna start today with the, an underhook position, <coughs> all right? When I get an underhook, it's very important that I have a good control. If it's loose, it's very easy for him to, to pass his arm, pass the arm over, over and, and get out of it. So I want to want to make sure when I get an underhook, I'm staying connected. If you try to pass your your arm over, then I take his back. So it's so it's it's very important that I have a good feel in here. This is connected. Today George is teaching. I'm taking a lesson from him, and I'm helping. I'm assisting him. I'm the head trainer. Doesn't matter. Today he's teaching, and I'm assisting him. So when I ask people, hey, assist that guy, he's not gonna say, I'm a black belt. He's a purple belt. No, it doesn't matter. If you have too many egos in the gym, there's no space to do martial arts. There's no space. But here you check your ego at the door and we really train, we really learn, and it's a beautiful thing. What I want is I want this leg. So I'm gonna take a step, you see he's stepping. I make him step with this leg. Make him step with this leg, then I'm gonna use a sasai. Again. Get another hook. Under hook, control the inside. 
Well, I, I, I like teaching people. Uh, also, Ferras is very busy with the gym, and he's got a, a family. Um, sometimes when I'm available, I like to, to, to teach class, the, the professional class. And um, teaching also helps you to, to be better uh, as a martial artist because it, it makes you remember the fundamental thing. And um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's another experience for me, but I really enjoyed it. He doesn't come in. Alright guys, let's work on this one. We attack the legs. There's a lot of guys who are very good. One of the best suspects, I've been saying it for a year, uh, he, he doesn't have the experience, but experience, you need. You get experience by, by fighting. And he didn't have this opportunity yet, but his name is Eamon Zahabi, he's Ferra's Fer Fer brother. Double uppercut. He's just unbelievable, good in every area. I would say he has no weaknesses. Probably his only weaknesses is the experience that he doesn't have, but he should. If UFC should give him a, definitely, I, I should give him a shot. He's just amazing, and I'm, I'm very confident in, in, not a, in not a long time he will rule the, his division. When you drill with someone, I need to trust my partner. So Eamon, Eamon is responsible for my health when he threw me. If I get hurt in a way, that's his fault. So when he does a society to me, look, look, look how it, 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 uh, if I'm supposed to move like it, accord, accordingly, uh, how I would move in a fight, that's how it happened. Be natural, you know, to do the same. All right, that's how, that's how it happened. If you control, if you know the society is coming, sometimes you hesitate of stepping, and that's why I see a lot of guys, they have problems. So the way, the way you can do it is just think, don't think of it, just make a natural step like it would be, like a step like it would be natural, you see? Do a few times, and I don't tell him when I'm going for real, so I just do the move. He doesn't know. Guys, go into the throw, man. Go into, don't be scared. Go into the don't throw, get tripped. Okay? Exactly. It's part of training. Don't be scared, homie. <laughs> <laughs> when I teach, I never hold nothing back. Uh, I give all the secret that I have. I know some some guys uh, I, they don't they don't share some of their knowledge. I share every everything I know. <laughs> if I can help one guy that I'm teaching to get better than I am, and I, I I will do it because that's my goal. Uh, I'm not uh, selfish in a way that I'm gonna keep my knowledge and try to keep it for myself because I, I, I firmly believe that if your training partner get better, you get better as well. So you both elevate uh, uh, each other uh, together. All right, Sasai and Shibarai, the triangle and the, the leg lap. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.